Son of the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. I was amazed at the feast that Christ prepared for the blessed church, his bride. As I entered, I saw there prophets, martyrs, and the just, the apostles with the priests. Then baptism and the cross, on the altar there was placed Christ's own body and his blood for the pardon of all sin. I feel tremendously blessed by this gift of Maronite monasticism, perhaps best represented by uh, the hermit Saint Charbel. He really represents this richness and um, spiritual blessing that I think we as Maronite monks are called to bring to this area through our life of prayer, spiritual sacrifice, and for this beautiful gift of hospitality, of making people feel welcome, making people feel like they're family. Our life begins and ends with Christ in the Blessed Sacrament in the chapel or the church and eventually we would have a big enough church that would be able to be in choir and pray together, 10 to 20 monks, and then quarters for the monks, our cells, our living quarters, connected to that church, so our life is flowing in and out of prayer. So those two pieces, chapel, living quarters, and then along with those guest quarters for people to come and visit us, give retreats, are the main pieces of our life that we're looking to get up here we especially need. One of the things that a monastery does is it sanctifies the environment. It fills the environment with prayer, with love, and so we can become that place, that spiritual environment that people can enter into just by being here to receive that healing that they need. Uh, it's always beautiful to see things like this happen. I always say, it's a beautiful spiritual radiance, you know, out of this monastery. That many people think, oh, it's, they, they don't help us because they're hermits or they're cloistered monks. No, because in the church there is different vocation for different reasons. And this is one a great reason, because through the, your prayers, your mortification, your sacrifices, you're offering for the good of our effort. And I'm sure you keep all of our work with, with the faithful, whatever they are, uh, in your prayers, this would be a big lift for us and big support to all our priests, whatever they are. Thank you for doing that, and I hope you'll get a lot more vocations, and I'm sure you will, because it's God's project, it's not our project. Shall be home, your splendid love. 